Good morning. Sarah, the real simple mama with my hens, including the two invalids. Just a quick video. We're on day, what is this? Thursday, so this is day four and a half of the quarantine. Hi girls. Hi girls. So I just wanted to show you um, an update before I come out here and do my chicken chores to tell you things that have been going on and a couple of little ideas because hopefully the next time you see these girls, we're gonna be letting them out. What? So we've had a little bit of a pecking order situation going on. Um, I'm not going to try to provoke it right now, but I may do that in another video. But I wanted to show you how I set up the crate for them. So this is a... What's that, girl? This is a dog kennel. And they've got some roosts made with some big sticks right there. This tarp, we cover them up at night. Um, not all the way, just most of the way. They still have some circulation going on. Um, I had to put this water bowl up. And, I mean, they got fresh water this morning. And as you can see, they've already gotten it dirty again. And then this is just a little clip-on feeder that's up off the ground a little bit. They get clean bedding every day, clean water, and fresh food multiple times a day. These girls have actually, this is, like I said, day four and a half of quarantine. I've gotten five eggs from them. So I think the Wyandotte has laid three times, and the Bard Rock has laid twice, which is awesome, which is great. And so they're laying at about the rate of my other girls. So probably about five eggs a week. Hey! Chick, 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 chick. And I do have new names for them, but I'm not telling you yet what they are. There's one person who knows. Nikki knows. She's the only one who knows. Hi, girls. So, the Bard Rock, this is what I've noticed. The Bard Rock, because I think she just had, you know, a bad situation where she was um, obviously very far down in the pecking order. Um, I'm sure that they were given ample food and everything, but um, she seems very defensive. She's very skittish with me, and she's also very defensive with the other chickens. My wine dote, she eats out of my hand. She's like, whatever, I don't care. Um, so she's pretty easygoing, and she'll, um, you know, she doesn't freak out when I have to put my hand in there and clean and things like that. The barred rock seems a lot more defensive. One of the strategies that I did that I wanted to tell you about real quick is I put um, whatever treat they're getting, uh, especially if it's something small, like some mealworms, some sunflower seeds, uh, frozen vegetables, something like that. I'm putting it here on the edge and then I'm putting some more outside so that all of the chickens are pretty close to each other. I'm not trying to encourage them to get mad at each other, but I'm just trying to get them to be a little bit desensitized before I actually let them out. She definitely, you know, she puffs up and wants to, to jump with her claws and do the whole like fight for the alpha thing. So she seems like she has a little bit more food aggression issues. The wine dotes like, dude, I don't care. Like we're good. But as you can see, hey girls. Her feathers are coming back in. From what I've read, I mean, you know, obviously we can't, we don't know for sure, but it's our assumption that growing, especially those big pin feathers, um, it's a very uncomfortable process. Hi! Chick, chick, chick. Chick, chick, chick. Her wine dote's acting like something's bothering her. What's wrong, girl? You gonna see too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just stay right there because we're about ready to go. So it's growing slowly, but she's not going to have any more issues. But yeah, I mean, I come out here randomly and there, there'll be an egg or two sitting in here, which is nice. But other than that, hey, tiny. Oh, they're looking to see if you have any treats. Oh, lolly girl. Good bird, lolly bird. You did. So we cover them up at night. We have had some rain. In which case, you know, I blocked it up. I'm going to get them some, yeah, some clean water. Some more food. Yeah, I can see even put up like that, they get junk in their food, in their water, excuse me. So... But they're hanging out. They're doing okay. I mean, I wish I had a bigger crate, but I also can't afford to go buy something just for, you know, a couple of days. So this was a dog crate that we already had. What is it, girls? Mm. What'd you find? A coin. Did you find a coin? Oh my goodness, Dami. It's a coin. It is a coin. What is that coin? Did the girls dig up another coin? My chickens found money out here in this yard. Yeah, you can come in real quick. 
Don't let Callie escape. Big girl. You also see our new water over there. Um, we made another one because my chickens, just, they just don't like this one. And the other one's, no, 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 leave it in my pocket. And the other one's just going to be a little bit less effort, but I'll show you that separately. But just checking in to say hi, see how the girls are doing. Feathers are growing in. This is what their, their coop looks like. And I'm coming on and checking on them literally four times a day. I'm checking on them four times a day because they're getting their water really gross, even though it's up there and they're going through their food pretty quick. It's not a bad thing, but it's keeping me on my toes. So hopefully we'll be letting them out soon. It's Thursday right now. I'm hoping on Friday night to let them out. Um, maybe Saturday night. We'll see. But this is Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. Hope everybody's doing well and we'll be back soon.